It's a medical marvel that Shirley Wiley can draw this spiral. In 1955, she was facing almost certain death until a series of remarkable coincidences brought Dr. John Walsh to her bedside. What did she look like when you first met Shirley? A mess. A mess. She was bedridden and helpless. Shirley was 15 when she was taken to a London hospital because no one could help her. I was shaking, I, I was falling over, couldn't walk, couldn't do anything for myself. Her neurological problems were caused by a rare genetic condition called Wilson disease that allows copper, an essential dietary mineral, to accumulate in the liver and brain, causing fatal copper poisoning. This film from the 1980s shows the devastating consequences of untreated Wilson disease. So when was the first time you heard about Wilson disease? I had a, a Fulbright Fellowship to the States, 54-55. I was working with Charlie Davidson, who was a liver doctor. And we were asked to see a Wilson disease patient who'd gone into liver failure. They couldn't help the patient then, but crossing the bridge from Boston City Hospital back to Thorndike Laboratory, Dr. Walsh had what he calls an inspiration. On the way back, I said to Charlie Davidson, you know, what this chap really wants is penicillamine. And Charlie Davidson said, what's that? I discovered this new amino acid which had never been seen in human urine before. Dr. Walsh had previously discovered penicillamine in London during the early 1950s while studying lab samples from people who were given the antibiotic penicillin. And then it was just put in the memory bank as an interesting observation of no particular importance. To prove his theory, a chemist from MIT then provided Dr. Walsh with some penicillamine, and then he did what would be unheard of today. He tried it on himself first. But it didn't do me any harm, and the next day I was alive and well, so I decided it was safe for me, it was safe for the patient. So what happened then when you tried it on the patients in well, Boston? Well, got copper out. Soon after, Dr. Walsh's Boston Fellowship was over, so he returned to London with a small supply of penicillamine and tried it on some patients. My father was Britain's new leading neurologist at the time, and he found some Wilson's disease patients for me to try it out on. One of them was Shirley. If he hadn't come over here, I wouldn't have been here. And how long did it take to start seeing her get better. She, she was better at the end of a year. Her symptoms had reversed, and in 1956, Dr. Walsh reported in the American Journal of Medicine that his drug discovery worked. Do you remember how you felt when you started to get better? Yeah, I was walking, I was doing everything. How did that feel to be able to walk again? It felt lovely. Dr. Walsh continued his research in Cambridge and found that Wilson disease needs to be treated every day for life. Shirley's taken penicillamine for 63 years. So what do you want other people with Wilson disease to know? Oh, to take it, taking the tablets, please don't stop. She's been able to live a normal life. She married. And while raising her three children, she worked at Scotland Yard cleaning offices. You were a medical pioneer yeah. trying penicillamine. But there's a lot of people better by taking it, isn't there? How does that make you feel? Proud, happy. Dr. Walsh asked his patients to draw spirals to monitor their progress. Shirley keeps this London Times article that told the story of her remarkable recovery as a reminder of how far she's come since she drew her first spiral in 1955. What do you think, when you think about Dr. Walsh? He's marvelous. I wouldn't have been here but for him. Well, I think it is a remarkable series of coincidences that all worked out well. The coincidence that I discovered penicillamine, which was, incident, which was a coincidental discovery, the discovery that we saw patients with Wilson disease, and I realized that penicillamine might work, and the coincidence that I was able to get some, and that it was able to show that it did work. And the whole thing was, you know, if all those coincidences hadn't worked out, the whole, the whole idea might have 
gone fat. It's incredible. Yeah. It's all good luck, really. Walking across that bridge and having that idea, I mean, where did that come from? Where did it come from? Someone up there. Where do ideas come from? Where do ideas come from? An idea, a prepared mind, serendipity, and good luck led to the drug discovery that saved Shirley and others with Wilson disease.